All right, we are back. It does not look like it is doing much better, unfortunately. But that's all right, we're gonna try. By God, we're gonna try. Uh, my name is Quish, it's cooking on the rim. Um, I'm quiet? Oh no. Okay. All right, we're sounds good, sounds good. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, well. Obviously, we are professional streamers here at Double WBPL76. I even know the name of the channel that I'm uh, currently broadcasting on. Um, okay, so we are going to continue on with our Skeleton Wars. So we're going to load up the, the game here, and I'm going to have the stream off to the side here. We're just going to see how bad it looks. You guys let me know if uh, things are looking a little off. It does look a little choppy, doesn't it? Does look a little choppy. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, we're going to stream for a little bit, and if it is uh, too bad to watch, just let me know, and we'll, I don't know, figure something out. I can strangle my internet service provider. But yeah, this is um, this is a skeleton playthrough. That's what we're doing right now. Um, let's see. Yeah, my bitrate is starting to even out. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just a, a temporary thing. What are we currently in the middle, middle of working here? We're making a bunch of hats. Making a bunch of hats. All right, well. With that drama out of the way, uh, let's see what we got going on here. We still have Opkir, who is our resident necromancer. It's full up on mana and ready to make some skeletons. We got Lord Grimos, who is our evil priest. He is a druid. We got Pretzel Bomber. He's on an insulting spree. Quinlist. He's got a mace. He's got armor. And then we got a bunch of uh, converted skeletons, as well as a couple of uh, very small skeletons, um, which are which are do doing fine. We have a mana surge. Nice, very nice. All right. We also have the blue gentleman here. He is a zambi got a whole bunch of animals that we could uh, potentially Ooh, we have tar uh, we got a whole bunch of animals that we could uh, also uh, raise on a short basis um, let's see here we got brick making we got storage for weapons and whatnot currently making logs clothing and then blacksmithing what else do we need we got this uh, this dungeony kind of room right here Any resources that we're missing? Uh, not doing great on steel, right? Oh no, yeah, we have we have iron bars, steel ingots, so we have plenty. Transport bot pod has crashed. An abandoned child named Amara. She is 13. Yeah, she's good at crafting. We'll, uh, you know, let nature take its course. Nah, Pistol, uh, we're doing a, we're doing a special playthrough just for Halloween. We have a whole bunch of skeletons. We have a whole bunch of undead skeletons and a lich who has decided he wants to wear a different hat. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, no, that's some bad luck right there, isn't it? Isn't it, Pretzel Bomber? Bad luck. Them's the breaks, though. Uh, yeah, we could uh, probably stand, uh, chop some trees down, huh? No, what we could do is we could probably uh, keep the gentleman inside now. Like right there. And Lord Grimos. Bring him inside. Okay, she has expired. Opkir has decided to try on a different hat. And let's just, uh... All right, Amira. Welcome to the colony. She wasn't bad at crafting, if I'm not mistaken, so we'll just give her the same uh, schedule as another crafter. And of course, that means we need to give her a name, and that means the Wheel of Names, uh, which is currently up to date. Let's go ahead and spin to see who this colonist is going to be. Sea Winter! What's up, my man? The Night Owl. The Night Owl, welcome to the colony. Oh, uh, let's see. Free to, uh, last colony, or not, last game, rather, uh, we had a mana drain, which caused all of my skeletons to disintegrate. Uh, so I had to start kind of from scratch at the last minute. Uh, naming game is disabled. Let's see if we can't take care of that. I think we figured out how to do that last time. And it is... Is... There's a command for it. I forget what the command is off the top of my head. Do do do. And we are, uh, we are pro streaming today, let me tell you. Is it? Oh, I know this is exciting. Is it...
guys I, i'm sorry i uh, i don't want to i want to uh keep messing with it i want to give you guys a game here tell you what freddy we're just gonna add you to the list how's that we're just gonna add you to the list All right, back to it. If there happens to be a mod in chat, if you could uh, give me a hand here and turn that on so I'm not uh, burning through the game trying to fix it, I would greatly appreciate that. Uh, you know, you know, uh, actually, Suit Winner, uh, some of them have round shields. Lord Grimos, for example. Uh, oh, he's got, currently got a heater shield. We got a, we got a variety of different shields. Hidden boss, what's up? Oh, it's not really a cult. Um, these people don't have any choice. They have to be here. due to uh, powerful necromancy. Uh, let's see, two groups of subjects. We get some stuff. I can give one of my skeletons Luciferium. <laughs> uh, we'll do it for gold. And uh, we're literally just doing this for the bodies. Literally just doing this for the bodies. Weird. Night Owl didn't turn, immediately turn into a zombie. Like they still have normal looking skin and whatnot. They're an imposter. Grimace is on an insulting spree. You know, as you do. As you do. You know, the other thing that I can do is, uh, Make herself a horse. And Lord Grimos, if you could uh, rope the horse. Just bring the horses inside. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Hmm, that's the second thing that uh, I've raised that has not turned into an undead. Like, it's just... I mean, it's still undead. It just doesn't look undead. I wonder if the mod's broken. Uh, but of course, this is a horse. A horse, of course. And horses. Horses also need names. Let's go ahead and throw some names on here. Somebody else uh, said that they needed to redeem name and game. Let's just add them to the list. The law. The law needs to be added to the list. Get you on.
law. All right. <laughs> Orc Slayers. Green, that's a good name. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Oop. I can type today. Orc Slayers with two Z's, the horse. Orc Slayers has been on the list for a while, I think. Somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Lots of uh, aminals have gotten trapped in our uh, traps. This thing's out of here. No storage space. We are dangerously low on food, of course. Yeah, let's just butcher creatures. I guess I could build a uh, like a butcher shop, huh? A nice little butcher shop. Some place to keep animals that we're not uh, currently uh, raising from the dead. Something like that. Yeah, the hidden boss, we definitely want to be attacking somebody tonight. Cause of course this is the uh this is the the last Halloween stream before the actual uh Halloween tomorrow. <laughs> so we should probably, you know, I don't know. Actually get on with the uh the premise, so to speak. Okay, and we're going to just put animal corpses in here, I think. And not rotten ones. So speaking of Halloween, what are you guys doing for Halloween? You gonna dress up? Going to any parties? Trick or treating with your kids? What's going on? Me personally, I am going to a Halloween show. Like a, um, like local bands and whatnot. Where did Oh. He's uh riding the blue gentleman around. That's cool. <laughs> Gonna pour yourself a glass of whiskey and watch Ghostbusters. Let's get everybody back inside. Where are the bad guys coming from? Oh, they're attacking. Oh no, what happened? You attacked my horseshoes pin? You jerk. Oh, 
Oh wait, it's like a fight going on. You know what? Let's uh, let's just let's just go ahead and uh, let's just deal with this problem. Guy just running away. All right, fine then. There's more of them. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. Wizard with them. Lord Grimace has died. Can we get out? I'm gonna fight these guys. Here we go. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> uh, it never gets old. All right. Uh, Lord Grimos has Perish, long live Lord Grimos. Where is Lord Grimos? All right, we, uh, we need a do we have like a like a corpse pile? Let's get all these bodies, uh, where we can do something with them. Oh, they can't leave the room, that's why. Where did, where did Lord Grimos go? Grimos. Marco. Polo. Where you at, my dude? Getting away. Well, that's disconcerting. Uh, Lord Grimos is an important, important uh, member of this colony.
It's not over here. Hidden amongst the other bodies. Did he get caught out somewhere? What happened? I mean, he could have got disintegrated. But I don't know how. Like magic, maybe? Well, shit, guys. I don't know what happened to him. Game's just being all sorts of fun today. Well, let's uh, let's go make some some new friends. Yeah, they're not uh they're not coming back as as deadites. They're coming back as regular people. And let's see. I don't know what's going on, man. They're not turned into zombies when I raise them. I lost Lord Grimos. Like, I'd, I'd have tried harder to have him not die if I was not so certain that I could just raise him back from the dead. That's like the whole point of necromancy, man. All right. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do is we are going to do a little bit of safe scumming because none of this makes me happy. And uh, a happy streamer is um, a, uh, a good streamer. Uh, well, we, honestly, Lord Grimos, both have happened. Like, you died and we lost you. Like, I don't know where your corpse went. And all of the corpses that we're raising aren't turning into skeletons. Which is uncool. They're supposed to be disintegrating. So, tell you what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to make another save. And uh, we're going to uh, cut to a commercial break and I'm going to reinstall the mods and see if I can get that to work. So we'll be right back. Hey there, folks. It's me, Tom Tombadil of Wide Tom's Bean House. Come on down and try our never ending bucket of beans. Only $14.99. I've got beans coming out the wazoo. We got bean salad, pork and beans, three bean casserole, jelly beans. But if beans aren't your fancy, we've got a full burger bar. Help yourself. Just $14.95 plus tax. White Tom's Bean House has a big old burger bar just for you. In addition, In addition to, to the, the burger, burger bar, we, we also have, have a full liquor bar, as, as well as sports, sports playing on every TV. TV. Call toll-free at 888-WIDE-TOM to book your reservation at a restaurant near you today. Today, of the WBPS 76. What an F digs. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
follow Tom Tomadil, Diggs, and their loving son on all of their wacky adventures. Whoa! I think you were supposed to turn left back there, you nitwit! Oh, can it, woman? I know where I'm going. <laughs> Join us tonight only on WBPL 76 after the stream. Hi, I'm Tom Tombadil, owner and proprietor of Wide Tom's Bean House, located at 501 Monroe Street, Detroit, Michigan. Come on down for our annual Meals and Deals Savings event where you can score 15 pounds of beans to enjoy this summer. In addition to our core menu, this month and extended into next month, we will have a superb 18 layer bean dip, 6 bean casserole, navy bean soup, seven bean chili, and our house special Los Frijoles Maximo. We won't send you home hungry, so stop on by today or make a reservation by calling 888-WIDE-TOM. Hey kids, do you like breakfast? Yeah! Well, you're gonna love self-heating maple bacon breakfast logs from Randy Checkers. Cool! That's right kids, just crack my log like a glow stick and watch the magic happen. Delicious breakfast, perfectly heated in less than 30 seconds. Move over, Jimmy Dean. There's a new sausage chef in town, and his name, Randy Checkers. Warning, Randy Checkers maple bacon breakfast logs contain substances known to cause cancer in the state of California and is part of a balanced breakfast. Randy Checkers maple bacon breakfast logs, hell yeah! Today, All right, we're back. And once again, I apologize profusely for the uh, technical difficulties today. I don't really know what's going on, man. This whole, this whole day has been, uh, been wild. Just been wild. All right, let's see what happens. I'm going to send Opkir out here to raise this person from the dead and see if... Uh, they turn into a proper skeleton. Nope, they sure didn't. They are in a than Neanderthal. Maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe the game can't handle the the funky races. But at the very least, Lord Grimos is back. Eh, 
and Erickson is a part of the colony. So let's uh, let's give Erickson a name. Oh, you know what? The night owl was the last one, and we we that was the horse. So the night owl, you have been uh, upgraded to a real person. A banish named Eddie is crashing. Uh, they are suffering from paralytic abasia and be unable to walk. You know what? She'll probably be able to walk after she's uh, been raised from the dead, right? Uh, this person's incapable of violence. I wonder if that uh, transfers over. You know what? Uh, let's have uh, let's have Quinlist come out here and check on them. You could uh, just yeah, handles that. There we go. Yeah, as expected, it was all in their head the entire time. And uh, yeah, they're they're no longer incapable of violence, which is pretty cool. They actually got a really good melee score. Nice. Um, this person's good at all kinds of stuff, so we'll put them on pretzel bombers schedule. And. Uh, of course, they need a name as well. Blackfire. Oh, Blackfire is already a already a skeleton. Either your name was on the list twice for some reason, or I forgot to take it off last time. Either way, probably my fault. Galea Kid. Galea Kid, welcome to the colony. All right. I don't know. Maybe maybe after time they'll turn into a skeleton cuz normally when you raise them and they're still a fresh corpse they uh they turn like kind of like how the blue gentleman is like uh that kind of like rotten look not noting that they're a zombie but then after a while they they just melt and turn into a skeleton. 
Ooh. No, it's, it's probably I forgot to take your name off when uh, I randomized you last time. All right, so we did. Uh... You know, let's just get rid of some of these helmets because we got plenty now. Got plenty of helmets. We need armor. It's all, almost possible that we need more uh, more anvils. Cause we got multiple people who can work on this stuff now. Let's, uh, get these making over here. I think that those were pants that they were making. Yeah. Then over here, we'll make gloves. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, we could turn Opcure into a vampire in addition to all of his other uh situations. But uh no thank you. Alright. And we'll put animal corpses in here. Not rotten. It is weird that the new ones are not becoming skeletons, but the old ones are staying skeletons. Yeah, he was a Yeti kin and he's a skeleton. So it's not the fact that they're a Neanderthal. Yeah, you need something in order to make, uh... Tanning racks, yeah. Oh, we got to make piss first.
Gotta make piss first. solutions I don't even know how you make that don't even know how you make that Lord Grimace is on an insulting spree. Uh, there should be weapons. Night Owl, you can uh, grab yourself a hand axe. Are we out otherwise out of weapons though? Actually kind of are, aren't we? Excellent quality steel falchion. There we go. All right, so now we got some weapons. He's got a shield. Night Owl grabbed himself a shield. Curious, learn more spells. Lord Grimos is inspired to cut up some meat. place to put food, do we? We're not really planning on eating it, though. So. Oh man, look at how pretty and snowy it is outside. Uh, fun fact, where, where I live, it's normally pretty nice and cool this time of year. You know, the, the, the leaves are all falling off the trees and whatnot. Yeah, no, it's been, uh, it's been in the 80s all week this week. Uh, summer literally came back and uh, I don't even know how to feel about it don't even know how to feel about it uh, let's see so we probably need to make some boots here we go make some boots some fat can uh, use that to I don't know 
grease things up. Get kind of greasy. Do some some good old greasy crimes. Alright, once we've got most of this armor put together, I think it's going to be time to go on an invasion. Oh, Mr. Uh, so Samurai, you were at the, the Panthers game. Awesome. Who did the Panthers play this week? I know the Panthers didn't win because the Panthers are on a a cursed, cursed streak this, this year. Who did Charlotte play this week? A mystery i'll never know oh they won oh they beat houston wow houston's been doing good this year too like cj stroud has been uh pretty solid which is funny because uh stroud and um uh, bryce young were both like the the premier rookie quarterbacks this year i know bryce young has been kind of struggling with that offense but the reality is, it, you know, you could put any quarterback in that position. They'd be struggling with that offense. If you're a, a Panthers fan, sorry if I'm, I'm poo-pooing on them, but. Let's just, uh, let's just put meat Let's just put meat and food in this room here. Um, or maybe we'll maybe we'll make like a cold storage room. How about that? He wasn't get when he wasn't getting killed the moment he snapped the ball. Yeah, uh defenses have been quick this year. Like if you can't get the ball out of your hands like instantaneously. You're going to be eating it. You're going to be eating that football. We have struck Jade. Nice. Well, I don't know who Jade is, but you shouldn't strike her because that's that's violence. We don't want, we don't want to be violent towards people. For now, we're just going to put everything on the floor because we actually don't need food. But otherwise, we're going to... We're just going to put food in here. But Grimose, can you... Oh, I guess I got to put a pen in here now, don't I? Yeah, I'll put a pen marker in here. keep gentlemen out of the uh the food room which is pretty cold everything's currently frozen it's not going anywhere mad elk it's real mad about something it's making cow noises for some reason and yeah now you're bleeding to death Night Owl. Just uh, handle that for me. The Yorkies are uh, sticking around for a while though. All right, two more Harbucks, and we should be ready to go.
It looks like everybody's got some amount of armor on. Ooh, there's a transport pod crashing. A hunter named Sergei. He is Titicus Urbanicus's brother. It's a dirt mole. That's kind of weird. He's got an addiction to mana potions. Even though he's not any kind of spellcaster. Let's take a look at the world here. Let's see. Uh, so I think this will probably be the uh, the first place we go to, right? Got these peace talks. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, that that'll be that'll be where we. Uh, where we start our invasion. Oh, he had some mana potions on him. Ooh. Op here. Let's go ahead and, uh, oh, he will, n he can't even pick it up. Like he can't even equip it. Okay. You know, Opkira, you need you need something a little bit more appropriate for uh your role. guess he's still researching he's currently researching plate armor we have uh we had like clothing didn't we what's going on here going on anymore we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with the punches up here if you could uh just go ahead and Include this guy with the rest of uh, rest of the colony here. Sergey, welcome to the colony. Oh man, has a twenty mining. Jesus, be taking so much. Uh, let's give him Lord Grimaces, and of course he needs a name. And he is Titicus Urbanicus's brother. That means whoever we roll, 
is going to be related to Titus. Titicus. Titicus is what I was trying to say there, not Titus. That was that, that, was that comedian guy. You already had that show. Hey, Freydu. You're back in the colony. Welcome back. All right, back to the void. All right. That is the last hauberk. Which means everybody should be pretty well armed. Uh, Lord Grimos, can we not, can we not carry the mana potions? I don't know, I don't know. It is time though. It is time. It's time that we go on a caravan. We're bringing everybody. Uh, maybe we'll leave the... Nah, we'll bring everybody. bring these mana potions yeah there we go caravan will have no food What the heck? Did did they did they put a costume on the blue gentleman? What's going on? This mod's getting weird, guys. This mod's getting real weird. Uh, Chas, the destroyer, destroyer, yeah, the destroyer, you, you demand death from above. Oh no, this meeting expired. That's okay, we're coming to visit, don't worry. Oh, I forgot to give Fredo a weapon. That's okay, there should be one available before too long. Caravan demand by Bando. Apicure's caravan has been ambushed by a group of two subjects from Bando. They will attack unless we give them our mana potions. How about... Absolutely not. Oh, God. Uh, Lord Grimos, can you beguile these animals? You could, uh, I don't know. All right, well, we won this battle.
All right, Opcure, if you could uh, just, you know, come on over here and you could just uh, get these buddies to help out. Well, yeah, we got some new friends. Got some new friends. <laughs> Beers guy is one of our new friends and uh Quintal 66 Eh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, Pretzel. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Fredo is, uh, he's got to register his hands as lethal weapons in the state of New York. The Kung Fu master. A manhunter pack. Manhunting squirrels, we'll you'll find no men here, my friends. Because we are all off on an adventure. I like how my skeletons are all sad because they have tattered apparel. Like, guys, we're skeletons. Like, that's part of the aesthetic. Like, we gotta look tattered. Like, have you not seen Army of Darkness? Have you not seen Jason and the Argonauts? Oh, no. What happened? Opcure. Oh, no. Well, we lost I.E. Geth. Pretzel, look, there's there's no skeleton union, all right? This is a dictatorship. If you're if you're cool for and and you know you just you hang on for a little while, you'll get to kill some meat bags and then you can steal their you can steal their pumas, you can steal their their adias. You know you can steal all of their their fresh drip. Oh no, we're losing mana again. Hey, what's up, Spara? All right. Um. So we're not we're not here to trade. We're here to attack. All right. What's going on with Opcure? Because we got, like, not enough mana? What's going on here? Oh, oh. What the heck? The 
The battle has begun. Oh, Lord Grimos has died. And once again, his body has disappeared. And uh, yeah, we apparently lost all of our mana. Um, and we're definitely losing this fight. Okay. Okay. Well. That didn't go so well. Uh I'm I'm going to I'm going to admit that maybe I'm not the most experienced um evil undead overlord. Maybe maybe I could have used maybe I could have I could have ground a little bit better on like, you know, like maybe uh maybe some squirrels. We we're going to chase this man in black to death. guy's got a uh pole hammer it's pretty solid he's a muffalo shaman he's tough this guy would actually be a pretty good colonist if he wasn't about ready to die but yeah yeah that's uh that's that um i hope that uh that colony was spooky enough for you hope that uh we we uh we lived up to all of your expectations tonight. Um, I think that that's probably going to be where we end the stream tonight. Uh, normally we stream for another 45 minutes or so, but I think considering all of the technical difficulties and all of the mods falling apart and all of my skeletons being unable to fight even the simplest of battles, um, I think that it is time for us to just wish you all a happy Halloween and... Um, we're just uh, we're just gonna hope that uh, you you have fun and you be safe and maybe get up to some some Halloween shenanigans. But uh, my name is Quish. I stream Room World every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I should be back again next Monday um, with a with a less spooky playthrough. Um, Till then, we'll uh, we're gonna leave you with one last word from our sponsor. You guys have a happy Halloween. Both me, Tom Tombadil, owner and proprietor of Detroit's highest rated bean restaurant, Wide Tom's Bean House. I'm issuing a challenge to you to eat my five gallon pot of beans in 50 minutes. If you can meet my challenge, your meal is free and you score some awesome new Wide Tom's Beanhouse memorabilia, as well as a $50 gift card. To encourage this challenge, we have upgraded our bathrooms to have as many toilets as our maximum occupancy per fire code. Only at Wide Tom's Beanhouse can you find as much fun as this. So come on down and try my challenge today.